like seriously he's just left now like he's just walked away and I don't blame him really that was so rude Rhea like that was good potential right there and you've blown it you've totally blown it girl like seriously he's just left now like he's just walked away and I don't blame him really that was so rude Rhea like that was good potential right there and you've blown it you've totally blown it girl Hey guys and welcome to Jack's World and I am back already with another episode of what I am naming Rhea's story on my Sims 4 Strangerville and I'm back so soon because I am loving this expansion so much that I've got heaps and heaps of footage I've already gotten you know quite a way in this storyline so I need to hurry up with the video editing and yeah pump out some more episodes for you guys so Rhea has decided to head on into the center hub of town and talk to some of the conspiracists conspiracy conspiracist conspiracy theorists yes the conspiracy theorists in town and see if we can find out anything about this strangerville so she's just gonna ask everybody some probing questions including this hot guy over here mr. land grab I believe so definitely from some old money Rhea that's the kind of person you want to get to know seeing that you've started up with nothing here so let's yeah introduce yourself to him and talk to him about strangerville and see what he has to say that's my girl Rhea so in the last episode you would have seen that Rhea has now been infected by eating a strange fruit I don't believe it was her choice. I think somebody probably made her do it. Yeah, it was me. It was totally me. Like, I just, I had to know what was going to happen. So I made her eat the strange fruit. And now, every night, at like 1am, she jumps out of bed and is possessed. And runs around for three hours being possessed and all weird and loopy. It's just great. I mean, it's not. It's really quite annoying. But the good thing is that for some reason after she's possessed it like resets all of her needs to full so I'm pretty happy with that because she starts off every day at like 5am in the morning she's got heaps of time to do stuff she barely needs sleep this girl like she doesn't she sleeps for like two hours a day and she can do so much which we need time because we've got so much to do like I said I want to work out this mystery in Strangeville I want to find Rhea a man I want to work her hard in her career and get her right up the top so she's making good money for herself and her future family. So she is a busy, busy girl and she's doing really well so far. I'll give her credit for that. I mean, we've only just moved into the neighborhood now and as you can see, she's making friends. She's a real social person, I think. Sim? Person? She's not a person. She's a social sim. She's making friends quite easily. The main focus is finding her a man. So I don't know, maybe this land grab guy, I mean, he's, wow, okay. She's trying to impress him with some random push-ups. Oh, that scared them off. That was not a good move, Rhea. I'm just like, okay, this chick's weird. I'm just going to leave now. Yeah, I'm going to stand over here and look the other way. <laughs> good job, Rhea. Okay. Talk to the military lady. We want to talk to some, ah, oh, there's some weird people running around with custom content that hasn't worked and so they've got like black and red question marks on their face. Just stay away from those weirdos. I'm going to have to work out how to delete that broken content. <laughs> oh jeez. So we're talking to a scientist and a military woman. What do you know about Strangerville? I think they're all pretty tight-lipped to be honest either they're tight-lipped or they don't even know themselves and they don't want to admit it hmm okay interesting blah 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 uh oh that strange woman's coming back oh boy 
I think we should stay away from her. She's just... Is she just always like that? She's constantly hypnotised. Oh boy. Alright. Okay, I think we're going to check out this bizarre plant. There seems to be a lot of them all around town. And we definitely need to start gathering evidence. And this, I think, is probably the first place that we're going to go. So let's check out the strange plant and maybe take a photo of it. Don't go too close, though, Rhea. That's it. Just, yep. Oh, hello. Did she just wave to the plant? Okay. That's a bit strange. We'll just, yeah. We're going to be careful of it, I think. We're going to steer clear. Because I don't really want anything worse happening to Rhea at this stage. Okay, so Rhea's just decided to come on inside because apparently this glass of water sitting on her bathroom floor stinks. I mean, jeez, like there's nothing smellier than a glass of water that's been sitting on the floor for a few hours. Wow. Maybe she's a clean freak or something. Like, I don't know. I don't even know how she smelled that, but she knew it was there and she came running. <laughs> now she's going to just go on her phone for a bit. I think you should probably go to bed, Rhea. It's been a big first day. No, TV first. Okay, then bed. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before. Rhea was sleeping, and then bang on, 1am every night, she gets up and does this for three hours. She's out of it. So that is Rhea's nightly activity. Seriously. Every night. Now. And I don't know what to do to stop it. But, you know, all I can suggest is she keeps working on solving the mystery. And hopefully we can cure her and everybody else who walks around like that all the time. <laughs> that would be really nice. We can do it. <laughs> While we, Rhea was out jogging one day she came across this very nice looking man <clears throat> and decided to stop and say hello Dylan is his name and she really likes the look of him with his nice nerdy glasses <laughs> so I think she's going to get to know him for sure Dylan seems really nice and he's a young adult as well so yeah let's get to know him have a bit of a chat. Find out some things. Oh, hello. Okay. Just come and, you know, interrupt our conversation. Hi. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm trying to get to know this handsome man? Yeah. A dig dig. <laughs> oh, she's scared of something. Oh, okay. And now she's leaving. She probably felt awkward because she just interrupted, you know, this conversation. That's fair enough. And things were going really well there. But Rhea just decides to be incredibly rude and just whips out her phone and starts, you know, messaging and is looking at her Twitter account and such. Like, seriously. He's just left now, like he's just walked away, and I don't blame him, really. That was so rude, Rhea. 
Like, that was good potential right there, and you've blown it. You've totally blown it, girl. Yeah, okay, whatever. You need to go to the toilet. Go home and go to the toilet. I am disappointed, Rhea. The next day, while Rhea was practicing marching around the neighborhood, she had a rather surprising text. Just when I thought she had totally blown it with Dylan, I mean, you would have thought, he messaged her, is it okay to come over? Uh, yes, Rhea says, of course you can come over. I mean, I'm just out marching around. I can definitely come home. So quickly, Rhea, you've got to head home and get changed. Because you look, I mean, you pull off that, that, that military outfit quite well, I do have to say, but definitely put something a little bit more special on. Quick, before Dylan's there, come on, move it, run, that's it, faster. I don't know, like, yeah, you don't want to get home and him see you in that outfit. Get ch up. Oh. He's already here, he's just let himself in and he's just on her computer. Okay, quick, 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 get changed. Luckily, you can get dressed real fast. That's much better. Yep, that should impress him, for sure. Alright, in you go. You've like met him once, you've talked to him for like half an hour and he's decided he's already at that comfort level where he can just let himself in. Fair enough. This guy, this guy is keen. Hey Dylan. <gasps> oh, what does that mean? He looked really shocked by her. He was like, whoa, whoa. I'm hoping that was an impressed, <gasps> not a, you know. <laughs> All right, you you got to work it, girl. You're gonna make up for yesterday and your rude phone business. And now you're gonna sit there on the computer and talk to him. Oh my gosh, these Sims are technology obsessed. I tell you, on the computer all day, every day. I mean, honestly, who does that? Not me. <laughs> oh, never. I don't sit on my computer all day. I mean, I do things. I do stuff, you know, shower, shop, occasionally. <laughs> oh my god, she's even on the toilet on the phone. Oh, she's, yeah, she's an addict. An addict. You've got a problem, girl. You've got a cute guy here and you're sitting on the toilet on your phone. Oh boy. Yeah, freshen up in the mirror. Psych self up. Yes, you can do this. You can do it, Rhea. Come on. You're a good-looking sim. You're young. You're in your prime. You've got this girl. Go out and make that boy fall in love with you. All right. Let's go. Deep conversation. Oh, yeah. Let's really get to know this guy. Domestic training. Opossum Rabin. Alright. It's going well. Ask if single. Come on, come on, come on. Are you single, Dylan? Don't suppose you're seeing anybody at the moment. By any chance? Oh yeah, I'm married. By the way, I'm married. Seriously. Dude. No, I don't think that's cool. Like, you shouldn't be over here in my place flirting it up if you're married. I don't think he was flirting, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> that is so disappointing. But you know what? I don't think Rhea cares. I don't think she cares. He is the nicest guy that she has met in this strange little town. And stuff miss whatever her name is. You know, I haven't even seen her yet. Like, does she even exist? You're this wife of yours? No. I'm going to make you forget all about her. Evil plan. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. So that's the end of episode two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it again. I hope you've enjoyed my last few videos for that matter, actually. <laughs> uh, please don't forget to subscribe. If you are enjoying my stuff, subscribe, hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button and you will be notified of my new videos whenever they're posted. And maybe even give me a like sub if you like this video. Leave me any comments, anything you want to say, any input. And yeah, let me know what you thought of this video and if you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.